All right, welcome back to another eco guide. This is for my governors and other elected officials. Um, this is going to be a quick guide on how to make a market disher. Now, this is one of the more important things in eco, seeing as most servers want to aim for a currency and a shopping district so everyone can shop in relatively the same area. It's going to be relatively easy. And it's going to be a two-step guide here, one for a basic market district and one for a little bit more complicated so you can make more laws around the complicated version. So let's go ahead and start with the basic market district. So you're going to need a real estate office, which is made at the carpenter office at carpenter level four. Um, so very easy to get carpentry to start uh, and easy to get to level four. All you do is make human logs. You'll make your real estate desk and what you'll do is you'll go into your real estate desk and create a deed. Now I've already made my market roads just to make it a little bit more clean for you. So what you'll do is you'll go into your market deed, you'll create a deed at the bottom. Then you're going to click that zero right next to the deed that you just created and click edit. So right now you are making one shopping district. So let's say I want my deeds to be about four times three, so it's about 12 plots per person. I'm just gonna fill up this whole pre-made square I made with the market roads. And I'm gonna say that's one person shop. You can do shops any any size you want. Um, anything bigger than five by five is generally just too much. People are gonna have too much space to build. So you wanna do anything less than five by five is pretty normal. You're gonna submit. So right now I have a one four by three shopping district I now have. So I can name this whatever I want. For example, I'm gonna name this market shop one. I'm gonna let that save. So now I have market roads, my home district, and a market shop district. Now you'll create as many as you want for as big as a market that you want. You can go in here and you can make more. It's very, very easy to do once you have a real estate desk. So I'll just make a second one real quick, just so you can see. Then what you're going to want to do as a governor with whatever currency that you have as a government, you're going to go over to deed sales and then you're going to create a listing there at the top. Now you're going to want to change the account here because you you know if you have a currency for, for the government, you're going to name it whatever you want. You know whether it's rubles, rubies, uh, you know shit, whatever you want. You'll drop the drop down box to your currency that way. So whatever sales come of this, it'll go directly to the government account. So I'm going to create a listing. I'm going to drop down to market shop one in the name, and then I'm going to sell it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Now that's probably pretty low for a four by three market but you're gonna do what you want and what you think your economy can satisfy. Um, and all you're going to need for this, again, carpentry table, real estate desk, and claims tickets, because you're gonna need those claims tickets in order to make these districts. And then you list it. Now everyone in your world can come to this desk and buy that district, and now they have a government-made shopping district. So again, you can make it as big as you want, you can make it as small as you want, but that's the general idea. Now, for the second part of this guide, I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated. You can stop here if you want, but if you want to make it a little bit more complicated, keep watching. So the second part is the zoning office. In the zoning office, you can make districts. So with districts, you can go in here and you can make a completely new district and you can put that right over where your shop was. So let's say I want to add a new district. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make that where the market I just sold was. I'm going to submit, I'll name it whatever I want, and then I can start that election and make that district a market district that way. So again, go in here, you edit your district map, I added the shop and I submitted it. Once that law passes, if that law passes, you can now go over to your court office and you can make a law around that district. What this is useful for, if you wanna give a tax break to people within your market district, you can very easily make a law and put in district requirements around that and give people tax breaks if they sell on that district or let's say you want to tax people for building a shop you can make a deconstruct construct law and tax them or pay them based on what they make so this is a quick example um, this is for my market roads this law right here if you want to pause and look at it this would make it so if a citizen builds on my market roads they get paid if they deconstruct the roads, then they'll be taxed. Now this is something you're going to want to do when your road's made. Uh, when your road is being made and it's not constructed yet, you might want to hold off on this law. But this would be an example of how to make a law around your districts. And again, you can 
select this drop down menu and you can go to all your different market districts you can select multiple market districts and you can make it so you either tax them you can give them tax breaks whatever you suit as your government whatever you want i'll make another guide that makes laws a little bit more clear and i'll, I'll put in some examples for very easy laws in the next video but for now this was how you make a market district this is how you district out your market so you can make laws for them. It's very easy and I hope that your market is everything that you want in your world. Again, it's one of the most important things you want. You have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.